evening will be the first day same-sex couples in Alabama can officially marry. But Chilton County Probate Judge Bobby Martin says his office will not do any ceremonies, same-sex or otherwise. But one Chilton County man says he has a way around all of this. And WIT 42 News reporter Chris Womack joining us now. And Chris, this man's taking matters of the ceremonies into his own hands. Yeah, his name's Jason Fisher, and he's not happy that all couples will now only leave with this form, which is the new certificate of marriage issued to probate courts today. Since Judge Martin won't perform ceremonies anymore, Fisher tells me he'll be more than happy to fill in. This is supposed to be the big day for Sarah Davis and her brand new husband. They had planned on putting the finishing touches on their marriage with a ceremony at the Chilton County Probate Office. I guess we were going to have the ceremony like in the courthouse like you're supposed to because he doesn't want to do it in a church. We can't do it here because they quit doing it. Probate Judge Bobby Martin will not perform any more marriage ceremonies, period. I stopped by to talk to Judge Martin, but was told he would not have any comments about his decision. The enemy at 16 would probably say, let's do a riot. Jason Fisher has plenty of comments. There's couples that have been together for seven or eight years that I know of that live in Chilton County or close to Chilton County that can't do anything because they feel like their rights are taken from them. And with a new right given to them by a federal judge, Fisher is picking up where Judge Martin left off. Me, myself, yesterday I became an ordained minister. Believe it or not, you go online, Google ordained minister, and it takes about a good five minutes. If this probate judge doesn't change his decision, then I will have no choice but to marry same-sex couples as well as heterosexual couples. While we're still waiting to hear back from Judge Martin, others have plenty to say. I guess it's okay for them to believe what they want to believe, but it shouldn't affect what's going on now. Tell him what everyone on every social media site has been telling me. What would Jesus do? I've left several messages with Judge Martin's stat, staff, but he has still not gotten back to me. If and when he does, we'll be sure to update you on WIAT.com. In the studio, Chris Womack, WIAT 42 News, coverage you can count on.